Hello everyone, aloha. Here is Sony Indigo and I'm here in this video to share with you uh, the importance of healing your chakras once a year, every year. And if you never did, everyone should do this at least once in their lifetime. Um, what? First of all, what are the chakras? Chakras are vortex, vortex of energy that we have in our body. We have many of them, secondary chakras and the main chakras. I'll talk just today about the main chakras, which are seven. So we have Sashara Chakra, which is on the, above the top of our head, and it's a connection with our soul, with God, with the universe, with divine energy, whatever you want to call it. To, that stuff up there and these higher beings up there with the angels and we have Ajna Chakra in the middle of the front head more or less here and uh, this is telepathy, connection, mental balance, correct decisions. Vishuddha Chakra on the throat it's correct communication not too much and not too less speaking your truth in the right time and I had the chakra in the center of your chest. It's, it's not quite in the middle of the, the breast, but it's, it's just he, more here, you know, more a little bit up. And um, it's a center of energy of pure love, unconditional love, forgiveness, understanding, uh, patience. This three upper chakra, or this um, three, four, four upper chakras are more the connection with, with higher energies, with the divine energy. And then we have on the solar plexus Manipura chakra, which is the fire, the courage to go forward, to build up something to do, to realize. And in the second chakra on the, on the sexual area, Svadhisthana chakra, Svadhisthana chakra we have, um, it's a creative energy. It's the, the, you know, it's the point of creation. It's not only to create a baby, but it's to, to create a project, to create something, to write, to paint, to build up something new. And then, then we have Muladhara Chakra, uh, which is the connection with the earth, the grounding, the stability, you know, solid. So this is just a, a short, short, short explanation about the seven main chakras, and then we have the healing chakras in our hands and also in the in plants, on the plants of our feet, and then we have other secondary chak uh, chakras. We also have healing chakras in the tip of our fingers, but about the seven chakras, this is the main subject today. Um, these chakras have, have opening on the front and back, and up and on the ground, on the first chakra, Murdara chakra, above. So, it's what you can visualize, you can imagine, it's like vortex of energy. They are spiraling, you know, they are uh, in movement. And when these chakras, they are not in balance, uh, how they come into unbalance? Because uh, most of the times, uh, emotional pain, a situation that happened in your life which caused a deep uh, pain in your heart, in, in your heart chakra. Uh, sometimes also because, uh, and then from the heart, before going from the, from the heart chakra, it affects the other chakras gradually. This effect, this can take months and even years, but if, if you don't receive healing, it will affect the other chakras. Uh, can also happen an imbalance to people who take drugs and ecstasy and alcohol and you know all these kind of drugs and also and the antidepressives and pills for sleeping they will unbalance the two upper chakras especially Ajna Chakra uh, I'm talking from my own experience in reading the chakras in the Reiki sessions and also observing the behaviors of people, how they talk, how they behave, how, how they, you know, all the physical behavior and, and, and speech also. And then reading their chakras and knowing their life story. And this uh, gave me, it, it's been a, been a big learning these last years and um, that's what I'm sharing here a little bit in this video. It's about to happen an unbalance, the other 
uh, area which can be a, a root of unbalance it's in the second chakra so this unbalance can be caused by sexual abuse sexual molestation uh, abusive relationship uh, verbal or physical or both um, also can happen with a birth or an abortion uh, so in the second chakra it can come an imbalance and then affect the first chakra so what happens what happens why it's so important to heal uh, and to heal the chakras uh, it takes four days in a row at least according with how I learned and how I'm doing and, and this is my own experience that it's in the fourth day, uh, the person have the chakras really um, good, and and this will change everything, everything. And I ha I'm been receiving uh, feedback, um, yeah, quite interesting feedbacks. You know, quite uh, the changes are very, very real in the life of people. So it takes four Reiki sessions in a row, in f four consecutive days in a row to heal the chakras. Um, what is the importance of heal your chakras? Because if you have this, the sixth chakra, Ajna chakra, not in balance, your decisions will not be the best. Your mind may be, be confused and mess, mixed up, you know, and you will not take the right decisions for your life and then will not take the right actions for your life and then can be like a snowball that things will go worse and worse. Uh, what happens if you have your throat chakra, which is not well, you will not communicate. Maybe you are over speaking, you know, maybe you over speak and subjects like for nothing you just get tired and lose your energy by over speaking or maybe you swallow someone hurt you someone say something to you someone say do something to you and you don't have the the the, the capacity of expressing your your truth you know so you swallow and you keep on swallowing and this is very common to happen in people who, in numerology who have the uh, life path nine you know, for example, just to give an example, you keep swallowing and you don't, and, and this will um, emotionally, it, it's, it, it, it will charge negatively your body and can create diseases, physical diseases, can create a cancer in the throat or something on, on the cancer on the, on the tongue, you know, serious diseases because you are not expressing your truth. In your heart chakra, for example, Um, in the heart chakra, for example, someone that does not have, if you don't have the heart chakra uh, harmonized, this person or you can be someone that uh, it's not uh, able to hug, you know, it's not able to hug, to, to love, to show your affection or her affection by even by people who are very near in your life, like your daughter or your son or your husband. Um, Maybe you have people who you need to forgive, but you are just not forgiving, you are not releasing this pain. Uh, nothing works, you know. And, and definitely, someone with, that have the heart chakra not well, that person is not happy with their life. It's, not, it's just not happy because in Chinese medicine, the energy of the heart is happiness. And the energy of the lungs, which is just in the area of the heart chakra, the, the energy of the lungs, it's sadness. And that's um, very understandable to, to, to observe, very interesting to observe why people smoke, they feel sad, they feel tired, they feel frustrated, you know, how many people, so many people smoke in this world, you know. Uh, it's a, a feeling of sadness, frustration, tiredness, that it's uh, lodged in, in the, on the lungs. Manipura chakra. Um, it's, if you don't have this chakra balanced, powerful, harmonized, you don't have the energy, or this person, if you observe other people in your life, don't have the energy to move, you know, to do things, to move, to go forward, to go to learn some course, or do some project, or, you know, to move. The energy is not there. Even the person really want, but the energy is not there. So it's just not moving. Um, 
In the second chakra, the person is not creating, maybe the sexual energy is not active. And the first chakra, uh, if it's unbalanced, this person is not grounded, is not centered, you know, is not stable. And some people, uh, I, I have, I, I've been receiving here, uh, unfortunately, sometimes more than I would expect with the people who, were, who had five chakras unbalanced, seven chakras unbalanced, and, and I can assure you, I had people who had who came to me with the seven chakras not well and their lives were really not good, you know, were a big, big mess um, because their mind was a big mess, they had no power to move, they, their heart was blocked, so it's very, very um, difficult to move, you know, to, to do the right decisions. And so this is um, just a just to bring you a little bit of awareness that that you have vortexes vortexes of energy in your body that these vortexes of energy they affect different areas of your life like connection with the soul your mental balance your communication your opening loving opening your power to to go to action uh, your creativity and sexuality and your grounding and if if you don't receive proper healing and uh, what things can bring the chakras into balance the, the yoga helps I'm, I've been receiving people who had effectively the chakras balanced they had quite a um, very healthy life like healthy food and practicing yoga and meditation regularly uh, however uh, they came to me because they had some situations in their life who provoked emotional unbalances and even though they have the chakras balanced there there is the emotional layer who needs healing and so they came to receive healing and they came to receive four sessions four reiki sessions in a row who did um, important differences important changes in their lives so this is also to explain you even though you have your chakras balanced but if you see you, you are not so happy, something is not so well, maybe, maybe if you had certain difficult experiences in your life, like someone dying or, or you know, diffi whatever difficult experience you had and that provokes a sadness or emotional uh, unbalance that is just there, you know, it's just that layer is there, you are not fully happy then even though you have your chakras balanced you need to receive healing also and it's also four days in a row because reiki goes everywhere you know goes works on the on the physical body on the mental and emotional body and on the level of your spirit so it works also always for your highest good so this is uh, um, not yet very 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 well developed but the short video for to bring you awareness of how important it is for you to look inside see yourself look yourself on the mirror and ask yourself um, am I am am I okay am I happy if yes beautiful if not uh, maybe yeah, if your life it's a, it's messy or it's just not going how you want maybe it's time to consider receiving four Reiki sessions in a row uh, from a Reiki therapist or, or even better from a Reiki master because we Reiki masters um, and I'm also Reiki master we heal with the master symbol uh, can be a Reiki master or can be someone who learned the third level of Reiki and who has the master symbol and maybe is not a Reiki master but knows uh, it's healing at the level of the master symbol uh, that's at that level that I am healing, I'm using the master symbol and so this makes all the difference, all the difference and it's, I consider, I, I did a decision for myself that every year I want to receive myself four sessions in a row just to clear stuff from the past from the last year you know to put me full power again and to clear stuff you know it's like like you go to make a checkup and you go to the dentist every year 
why not you don't make a checkup in energetic check checkup in you you know it affects so many areas of our life so it's how important it is for us to have our chakras fully aligned uh, every year like always how important it is this how how much is affect our, our the areas so many important areas of our life like connection with our soul like our our decisions our communication you know our happiness our power our creativity our grounding you know how much these areas are important for us so and how much it's important for for us to uh, as soon as possible receive four sessions in a row and then eventually i would suggest once a year you know once a year it's so good it's so good uh, from my part I am working here in South India and I do live sessions and uh, I also do distant healing sessions and I just the same as I do the live sessions I do the distant healing sessions uh, four days in a row in a proper way using crystals using prayers and, and Reiki and all the rest what I do as I do a live session so but if you know someone else and if you know another Reiki therapist or even a Reiki master, consider to receive four sessions of Reiki in four days in a row to align, align your chakras, you know, to put yourself tuned and full power for whatever you have to do or whatever you want to do in your life. This is a message. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel this is can be useful for other people to see this, share with people who are dear to you in your life and uh, subscribe my channel click on the bell so you can receive the notifications in your mobile or in your computer and thank you very much for watching from namashivaya